So Matt, welcome to Viking. What was it that brought you to the club? Uh, it's quite a few factors to be honest. Uh, I think the first one was was, was the gaffer. Uh, he came to meet me personally and he um, seemed to have been quite in depth with, with his plans for me and how I would fit into the team. So that was obviously um, quite promising for me to see someone who's invested and interested in, in myself. Um, and then obviously the ambition of the club. Um, obviously, I've, I've previously played for the club, which was under slightly different circumstances at the time. Um, and the club's ambition and obviously the performance that the team put in as a whole last year was obviously admirable from a from a from a standpoint of a another player in the league um, for them to be so so high up in the table, and I can only assume that the plan is to, to to do one better next year. So it was definitely an ambitious project that I was becoming a part of, and that's what I wanted. You were vice captain at Dagenham. Do you think that can help you add experience to this already very vastly experienced dressing room? For sure. Yeah, I think um, obviously I've, I've played with some of the lads and uh, played against some of the lads who are here. And there's obvious leaders within the squad, um, people like Cuthbert, uh, Wilkinson, Ince, obviously the captain himself, Josh Casey. Yeah, I think I think me myself, I've played a fair amount of games at this level. Um, I've, I've, I've won the division before, and uh, I, I would say that I'm someone who can add some experience into the into the squad for sure. You spent time on loan here under Gary Hill, as you mentioned. What were your thoughts on the club then, and what's changed now? Quite a lot has changed, but important things haven't changed. The fans are still very passionate, the, the pitch is still good, the club's been evolving, so they're, they're the things that have stayed the same, which I think are, are the things that are, that are very important. Um, the things that have changed, obviously, at the time, they've only recently been promoted to this division and we're still part-time, so obviously the, the training facilities have, have got better, um, the standards probably have got better altogether, and it's a full-time club now, and obviously with um, differing ambitions, like the, the plan is to get out of this league. I think when I was here before, the plan or the, the the minimum was just to stay in the league. So I think a lot of things have changed, but the important things, like I said before, the passion of the fans and the, the, the structure of the club haven't. And you've scored quite a number of goals from midfield in the last few seasons. Yeah. Do you think this is something you can add to this team? Yeah, it was, it was one of the things um, actually that the gaffer um, had shown me within his plans about me playing a more pressure game higher up the pitch and, and, and being around to, to score more goals uh, and add to the goals that had come from midfield already from, from the current squad. So it was um yeah, it was definitely something that, that was in my mind when I signed I thought this is something that I can add to the team and this is something that, that I want to work on for the whole season. And do you set yourself personal targets? I try to, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't wrote them down yet. Um but I mean my, my targets would to be firstly to, 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 to play, um to play well. And then that's the, that's the minimum. Give my all, and then, like you said, um, with with the goals aspect of of my play, I, I would like to score goals this year. But ultimately, it's about it's about the team and what the team can achieve. And I think um, the gaffer, the gaffer, when he said to me, he said we want to go one better than we did this year. So the the obvious the obvious one would be to get out of this league and get promoted. And finally, you're an award-winning musician. So does that mean we will see an award-winning initiation song? I mean, I don't know what awards you win for initiation songs, but um, I haven't done one for a long time either, so I'll have to think of something special for the lads, but they, they might even just ask me to sing and not, won't want to hear any um, original material, which will be more difficult. If, if they ask for, for, for kamikaze, then it'll be an easy job. If they ask me to sing, it might run a little differently. <laughs> Cheers, Matt. Thank you.